Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. How are you? For today's video, I want to just quickly share with you guys my drink of the day. So hopefully you can see. It's basically foamed up creamer with a little bit of cinnamon on top. And then I use a Trader Joe's um, brew coffee. Is that what it's called? I think so. Pretty good. Love. And then the mug is from Marshalls. I'm going to pick it up for me. Here is the creamer that I use. It's so a little bit goes a long way. You do not need extra sugar with this because it's already sweetened. They have vanilla, they have peppermint, hazelnut, caramel, anything and everything under the sun. Delish. So for today's video, I'm going to be speaking to you guys about a bunch of brand new eyeshadows that recently hit the market. This video is actually inspired by Andre Andrea Matigliano. I'll go ahead and have her channel link down below. She's amazing. I really love her as a person. Not that I know her, know her, but she seems so, so nice. I've spoken to her quite a few times and um, I just, I love her videos as well. They're very thorough, easy to watch and She's cool. So I'll leave her channel link down below, but she does do these videos quite often where she'll pretty much just speak about a bunch of different eyeshadows and then randomly throw in other things too. But the main focus of the video is pretty much eyeshadow palettes. So I definitely wanted to share with you guys my take on this video. I have my little friend's notebook here that I recently picked up from TJ Maxx. I have two sections, my yes section and my no section. I pretty much have 10 eyeshadow palettes that I wanted to speak to you guys about. So five that I'm going to pick up, five that I'm not going to pick up. For the ones that I'm going to pick up, I probably will do like a get ready with me video on them or you'll definitely see me wearing them in videos. And then for the ones that I'm not going to pick up, I'm just, <laughs> I'm not going to pick up. Okay. So first up, I have to speak about these little ones definitely in my yes section. These are just like the purest babies ever. So, so cute. So Too Faced recently released four little Little eyeshadow palettes we have the that's my jam eyeshadow palette which is beyond gorgeous that one smells like berry jam i'm about that life the next palette they released was this one it's called let's play and that one smells like bubble gum delicious then they went ahead and released the light my fire eyeshadow palette that right there smells like cinnamon hearts cinnamon i guess and then they also released the kitty likes to scratch um, eyeshadow palette which smells like tequila sunrise i don't know what that smells like is that like regular tequila? I don't really drink that much, so I don't know. But if it smells like alcohol, <laughs> it's going to be a no. But hopefully it smells good. Anyways, these retail for $27 each. They are so freakishly cute. I'm in love. Now, I already spoke about this to you guys on my community tab. I was curious to see like what you have to say. And I would say majority of you guys said so cute adorable can't wait to see your review and then some of you guys also mentioned that we've seen these colors tons of times and you're not really gonna pick it up so i'll tell you honestly at this day and age i feel like really we've seen it all kind of thing so i know that for some of these palettes especially the, like the more neutral ones it's kind of like yeah we, we saw that 100 times it's probably recycled shades with a, with a cute outer packaging and then bam um but for me i i felt like even though with the neutral ones, let's say, I do have those kind of shades. Truly, I am a collector of cutesy things. And if it has solid packaging, my heart is sold. So um, I did pick it up mainly for the packaging. And I'm assuming the shadows are going to perform nicely. These little ones by Too Faced are amazing. They're probably just as good or probably even better than their bigger 18 pan palettes. I always have good luck with these. I have, I want to say, all of them to date, I think. So I definitely had to pick these up. I mean, of course. <laughs> and then for the That's My Jam and Let's Play palettes, Oh, this just these are so cute just so right up my alley i feel like the color stories in these are a bit more fun playful um beautiful to look at and i think that they somewhat do have like a uniqueness to them you know definitely more unique than the other ones so i'm actually very excited to receive these and i can't wait to share my thoughts with you guys because i'm fully in love like even before i even saw it this is like true love at first sight kind of thing for me next up we have the morphe and lisa frank eyeshadow palette i'm going to exclusively speak to you guys about the palette itself not the other items that they have because for the other items i think i might pick up the like little makeup bag it's so cute and maybe the brushes but i did want to speak to you guys mainly about the eyeshadow palette because i actually got a few questions from you guys asking me if i'm going to pick this up so to start off i actually was that girl who had like a lisa frank notebook or a few lisa frank notebooks lisa frank um folders it was just such a vibe back when i was in elementary i also remember having uh, like lisa frank pencils erasers i actually have lisa frank frank stationery from when i was i think uh, eight, six or seven years old i literally have like the stationery from then how, how crazy so yeah this definitely hit home for me somewhat but i have to say i was very underwhelmed with the palette i just kind of felt like they're really i don't know if, i don't know if there was or wasn't but for me it looks like there really wasn't much thought put into this most of the shades look like they're mattes and if there are a few uh metallics they look very um subtle 
you know and i just feel like it's not so diverse it's not as diverse as i would like i feel like since morphe was collaborating with um lisa frank i i, I don't know i would have expected a little bit more a little bit more depth a little bit more like boom you know what i'm saying so yeah definitely a little bit disappointed it's gonna retail for 30 dollars i just i'm really not feeling it unfortunately i feel like there might be other collections that will come out in the future that will be lisa frank um and maybe those i'll pick up or for this one probably not no not probably i'm not gonna pick the palette up but again with the little uh pencil case kind of thing and the brushes that's probably in the yes section because it's so cute okay moving on to the next uh palette that i wanted to speak to you guys about this right here is from huda beauty i did enjoy her product from time to time but i feel like lately like she's been kicking it out of the park and i'm falling more and more in love this right here is gorgeous so it is one of her nine pan palettes it's gonna retail for I want to say around 25 to 27 dollars and here we get matte and, and uh, metallic finishes we get a beautiful gold we get champagnes um browns in here so so nice now you guys know the nine pan palettes by huda are I, I would say not her best formula but i feel like she's actually getting consistently better and better compared to the first few obsessions palettes that she released to what she has now i'm like wow like i can definitely see a difference i would say my least favorite from the nine was the emerald obsessions that was so bad the first time i used it i'm like okay maybe you know was never fully in love but then as i kept using it more and more i'm like there's no way you know i'm actually wearing one of her palettes today this right here is the nude medium palette and it was it's just this is two colors blended out like a breeze beautiful on the eyes and because i love this one so much and it really impressed me um i'm gonna be picking up this one i'm so excited i think that the tones in here are absolutely gorgeous it's gonna look stunning on every single soul and i really enjoy like goldeny yellowy goldeny shades on my eyes i feel like it brings out any eye color but i want to say especially brown eyes it just it looks so cute on so definitely on my yes list next up we have this right here from violet voss and i feel like there really hasn't been a palette that i just was like gushing over from violet voss this right here honestly is no exception for me it's in my no section it is the tie dye for eyeshadow palette the, sh the, sh the swatches look pretty good we basically get a bunch of colorful shades and then three more neutrally kind of colors i'm sure i would probably be able to create looks with this because it has a selection of matte and metallics and i think it would look pretty cool on the eye but because there are actually so many other colorful palettes that are coming out i'm so much more drawn to the other ones than this one so i'm gonna go ahead and skip out on this and then for the fact that it's 36 bucks for 12 shades i guess it's not that that bad but there's a different one that i definitely want to get um instead of this one that's has more shades it has a cooler color story in my opinion and um what's it called i think it's around the same price tag too so yeah for this one i'm gonna go ahead and skip next up we have this palette right here from ColourPop. this is an absolute yes i've been speaking about ColourPop for a little bit now and there really hasn't been much from them that i was like oh my gosh i need to have this in my life however when they released this i'm like yes no question i need to have this in my life this is gorgeous this is like so right up my alley so it's basically called their fade into hue um palette so i, I purchased it already just to let you guys know but it's 34 dollars, which i think is amazing so two dollars cheaper than the um uh, what's it called violet voss one and this one right here has so much more shades plus i love the vibe of this one so much more hopefully the quality is good usually with ColourPop, it's pretty nice they're having 30 percent off at the time that i'm filming this so i got this for an even more reduced price tag i think it was around 24 dollars which is just like wow so the reason why i love this so much is because it literally has every single color from the rainbow and not only that it 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 has the lighter shade and then goes into like the deeper shades and for my style of makeup whenever i do like any look really especially colorful looks i need to know that i have different transitions to work with because if there's only one yellow and i want to do a yellow look i can't get the depth that i really want or like if i want to do a green look and there's only two greens i need to build up the transition to go from lighter to deeper to deep you know so i think that they did so well with this one i especially love the fact that you could use these in a vertical way so like you have your again red orange yellow green blue purples and which with each row there are matte and metallic so if you want that red look you're covered because you have the matte and metallics for red orange matte and metallics for orange yellow just, i just i'm i'm in love this is like my style of palettes completely i'm just fully obsessed so yes i picked it up it's in my yes section of course and i cannot wait to throw this on my eyes because i feel like 
it's so diverse and I'd be able to do so much with this one. Besides for the fact that I could use it in a vertical way, then I can also mix and match because I have everything that I pretty much need. Next we have this palette right here from the Crayon Case brand. I think that's what the brand is called. Very cute. It's retailing for $55.99. I've never purchased anything from this brand, but this looks actually pretty solid. I'm going to go ahead and skip out on it. It's going to be in my no section because I just purchased the ColourPop one and... Um, I think I have other like colorful palettes that I have my eye on. So I'm gonna say no to this one, but I, I, it still doesn't take away from the fact that this is so stunning. It literally looks like one of those paint boxes. You literally have every single shade that you would need. Um, you can mix and match. You can go for like a blue look, purple look, red look. They have everything from also matte to metallic. So really, really pretty, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip. Okay, so the reason why I also skipped that, <laughs> so I also skipped that on the Crayon palette because I actually recently picked this one up. So like literally last night, by the time that I'm filming this, and I cannot wait to, to just get it. So this right here is from Juvia's Place. It is the Wahala 2 eyeshadow palette. This is such a um, like mind-blowingly gorgeous palette that like when I saw it, I was like, what? I had to take a second look and I'm like, gorgeous. Honestly, I did not even hesitate when I saw this. I was like, I need to have this in my life. It definitely has a lot of like those bluer tone shades. But I think it also has a really nice amount of like gray tone colors, uh, pinks and neutrals as well. I feel like I could do a lot with this one. There are some, I think, multi-chromes in here as well. We get some metallics. We get some mattes. This is just life. I love it. So this is $38. It's actually available on Ulta's website at the current moment. And I'm happy about this one. I actually haven't found one from Juvia's Place that I'm fully in love with. So I hope that this is going to be the one for me because... It has to be. Honestly, it has to be. Next up, we have this palette right here from Viseart. This right here is the Liaison Extension Violet Palette. So there are 12 shades that are included, 1.5 grams in each. We get a selection of matte and metallics. And so it basically goes from like neutrally mauve tone shades to like beautiful purples. Really nice, actually. When I saw this, I was like, this is beautiful. I've tried the Viseart um, formula in the past, and I thought it was pretty good. Not my ultimate favorite, but pretty, pretty nice. I think I'm going to go ahead and skip out on this one, though, because it's speaking to me, but not in a way where it's like, I need to have this in my life. I like the tones. I like the colors, but... Um, now that I have, like, the, now that I'm going to have the Juvia's Place and the color pop, I feel like I'd be able to create maybe similar looks that I would do maybe with this palette. And then also with the mauve tone shades, they're beautiful, but I do have a decent amount of those. And it's just, it's not speaking to me as much as other palettes do. So I think I'm going to... Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a no. <laughs> and then finally, I wanted to speak to you guys about these palettes right here from Urban Decay. These are so cute. They recently just released these, and I'm obsessed. So they're retailing for only twenty five dollars each. You guys know I'm obsessed with these little ones, so I felt like this is just so perfect for my life. They have the boogie, the seventies boogie eyeshadow palette. I love the way they themed these. They also have the pop queen eighties palette. Then they have the yes nineties nineteen ninety three eyeshadow palette. Even though that wasn't the year I was born, but pretty close. And then they also have the 2000 soundtrack palette. This just is home for me because it kind of brings me back to like the olden days, I guess, my childhood. And it just reminds me of those times and it really makes me happy. So I really just, I love the whole vibe of these. I like the fact that they also are just small, cute palettes with their own unique, cute little color stories. Each palette has mattes and metallics. And I'm assuming and I'm hoping, <clears throat> I'm assuming and I'm hoping that the um, quality is gonna be nice. For the last few palettes that Urban Decay released, the quality was pretty, pretty good. So I think that these are going to be amazing. And I really can't wait to get my hands on them. I think they would also be really, really fun to display. So it's a definite yes for me. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you like this style of video more than my yes, no, maybe so, or more than like anti-holes. I really had a good time with this because, I mean, who doesn't love eyeshadow palettes? There's so much fun to speak about them, you know? So yeah, that is pretty much it. I'm looking forward to reading what you guys have to say. Let me know what is on your yes list, what's on your no list. If you're picking any of these up, if you're skipping out on them, keep me posted and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.